How old are you? I'm 28. Well, 29. I just turned 29 October the 5th. Okay, you're 29. All right. And what do you do for a living? I work from home. Okay, what do you like, do? Like uh, credit card fraud, stuff like that. And what's your zodiac sign? Libra. Libra. All right. So this is Nequita, correct? Nequita. Nequita. Yes, okay, ma'am. What kind of man are you looking for, boo? Um, just a God-fearing man, uh, a hard worker, no street dudes, because I've dealt with street dudes. I don't want no street dudes, like drug dealers. I don't want to do that no more. Um, just uh, somebody who, who will, you know, who will go to church. They don't have to go every Sunday, but somebody that's willing to go to church with me, at least sometimes. Um, somebody who, uh, who communicates very well, understanding, somebody that knows that I can't be around them 24 seven cause I got kids, you know, at the beginning, you know, um, cause I ain't gonna have nobody around my kids off gate, you know? So just somebody who understands that I have kids and, you know, that can take their time with me. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take their time with you cause you do have children. Um, can he have kids? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you want more kids? No, ma'am. Unless I was to get married and my husband was like, he wanted one. That's the only way I would have another one. But other than that, no, ma'am. Okay. Fair enough. I want you to answer this question because you are a mama of four by three different men. Why wasn't marriage a requirement before? I didn't see it growing up. Um, my mom was married twice, but when I was younger, <laughs> I never, I never really thought about getting married because I, I really didn't see it um my mom's the same you know she got five kids five different baby daddies mm. 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 here to the no to the no 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 here to the no mm. oh. mm. there you go she got four kids by three men she said my mama got five kids by five men my mom also been married twice i never seen marriage growing up so obviously her mom got married at you knowing them latter days, one of them one of them old old auntie marriages to an old crackhead or something. There you go. You we not seen it. Stop. Stop the cap. And and yeah, it's so much dust on this screen. This sister came up here. She got on uh, ladies. If y'all gonna be brave <laughs> enough to go in the kitchen show, don't wear a hair helmet and a hat combo like that is the dustiest look on planet earth that's a that's dusty outside of the stinking bonnet like come on man it ain't giving you four my good you four for three and you full of excuses we just here to keep it but it's already over yeah so we're going to let her cook. She's following the theme of tonight. I want to see the other two women. They keep saying, well, my parents was married, so I know I'm a wife. It's just, this is the theme what? right now. <laughs> you, I promise y'all, I promise y'all, I promise you, any man that's worth a dang, he find out y'all out here four for three and, and all these weird combinations, it's an instant no. And, and, and you know what? Maybe sometimes they do lie to y'all. Any event that Nug Nug do lie to y'all and talk about he won't be with y'all forever and he loved you always, y'all want to believe them lies. Ain't nobody trying to hear it at all. So here we go. Where we at here? Uh, and no. Ben come. He says apples don't fall far from the tree, Nug Quita, like your mama. Yeah. Man. Boom, see that? And that's excuses. She talking about oh, well, I didn't see it, and I already said it before. There ain't no excuse. There's no excuses over here at Cart Before the Horse Corner, a.k.a. Accountability Corner. F your excuses, Bonquisha. So I never... Mom is what? She has five kids. My There's five of us. Okay. Five different. Yes, ma'am. So... And... Sorry. And so, so um, I don't know. I, I don't think I was... I knew what love was. And when I would go through situations with men, I would just cut them off. Like, I would just, I wouldn't stay and go through things. As I got older, I learned that sometimes you got to go through some things. Nobody's perfect. Like, but I just, when guys would do stuff or act a certain way, I would just cut them off. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. I was, we were just talking about this today that I feel like, you know, if you don't have an example of marriage, 
then you might not know how to, to go after it or get it. This is why I'm trying to showcase more married people on the show, but not to go off tangent. So now that you are a mom, you realize that marriage is a requirement? Not necessarily a requirement, but it gives me something to work towards. Okay. Like, um, yeah, basically, it made me just respect myself. Like, I want to set an example for my daughters now that I have children. So I don't want them to go off of what I did and the mistakes that I made. I just want to set a better example for them. Because some people may think like, oh, you know, she's a hoe or, oh, she don't respect herself or, oh, you know, they judge you when they hear mm. stuff like mm. that. So I just want to set a better example for them just to let them know, like, you don't have to deal with what a man brings, but every man is going to take you through things. No man is perfect. So but just make better decisions. And when you land down with him, you know, use protection, get to know somebody very well before you just, you know, give yourself to them. I understand. Okay. Feels like you learned a lot. Yes, ma'am. Sure. Okay. Feels like you learned a lot. All right. Okay. Nequita. Nequita. I said it right. Nequita. Yes, okay. What are your deal breaker? Um. You told me already. No, ma'am. Okay. Um. Somebody who don't take care of their kids if they have children. I don't. I don't. I can't respect that. I can't respect the man who don't take care of his kids. I feel like if you don't care for your kids, then how can you care for anybody or anything? Um, somebody who doesn't respect their mother. Cause I feel like if you don't respect your mom, you don't, you won't respect me. Like who am I if you don't respect your mother? And, um. Now here we go. Another one. They keep saying if a man can't tear, care of his kids, uh, if a man got kids, he does not need to be dating you. Any man that got three or four kids don't need to be dating a woman with three or four kids. Ain't no such thing as a blended family like that. Y'all ain't rich. Y'all poor. Y'all just gonna make everything worse. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Y'all, poor people can't do this. Y'all, that's rich folk stuff. Hey, the Bra yeah, the Brady Bunch. Yeah, y'all need to stop. The Brady Bunch had bread. <laughs> All right. I don't know how, but they had bread. That's what dad gonna show. Jay, Marsha, and all them, they had their home roof. They was living good. Y'all ninjas ain't the Brady Bunch. Y'all ain't even got no husband. All right? Stop. Y'all blending family. Like so y'all blending families just to endure the struggle more and delay the inevitable by a couple days. That'd be about it. So shout out to my guy Ash Rogers in the building. He said, go ahead, hit her with that, Dre. You know what, Ash? Yeah. She do deserve it, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you love when I come around? What do you say? Build you up, then I'll take you down. She says between her and her mom, nine kids, eight men. See? Yeah, Tracy Ann. It's terrible. Tracy saying he wrong for doing that math. Yeah, I don't know which part of the union she in, but yeah, sound about... She appeared talking about marriage and she's a wife and all this goofy stuff. Sister, you done gave you done gave it all up. We're gonna keep saying it to a to a sink of y'all thick skulls. No next man that come in gotta add water and he's still only gonna get skin, no juice, all the juice go, nug nug at all the squeeze. The next man only gets skin, seeds, and and dry pulp. Just somebody who, who <laughs> like a liar. I don't like liars. No liars. Um, can he be in North Carolina? Does he have to be in North Carolina? He don't have to be in North Carolina. Oh, she doesn't have to. Okay. I would rather him be in North Carolina though, because I really, if I'm traveling, I'm taking my kids with me. So I would rather just so we can take it slow. I'd rather him be local, so I ain't got to do a lot of moving around. Okay. Um, what's the age range you would date? You're 29. Um, 29 to 35. 29 to 35. Okay. Let's, oh, does he have to look a certain way? Mm, I like dark skinned men. <laughs> Dreads. Pretty smile. I'm, I might need to stay away from that, though. <laughs> but I like dark Is that what your three baby daddies, they were dark skinned and dressed? Well, my last one, yes, ma'am. Okay. 
Well, you said you might need to stay away from me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what about money? Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, just as long as he can take care of himself. I don't really care about money. Okay. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Uh, um, I don't like your shape. I got a little something, something. I ain't too big, ain't too small. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. <laughs> okay, keep the phone steady, Nequita. 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 Oh, my goodness. Quee, quee, quee. Quita. All right, Nequita, when was your last relationship? Uh, um, 2019. 2019. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? About a month ago. Was that? Does that guy have what? an option? My baby daddy. It's my last baby daddy. What? So this is this is the three year old yes. dad. Yes, ma'am. So this is why I always ask. People always say, "Why do I want to know the ages?" Because normally, and I only ask this question if you guys have figured it out. Whenever you tell me children under five, under five, I always ask, "Why didn't it work?" Because it seems that if a child's under the age of five, there could potentially be still sexual relations with the child's father. So a month ago, it was only 30 days ago, you know, your baby daddy's not going anywhere. This is a man that is a part of your life. So what would you say? Because you were saying a lot of things that were wise, and I, I was very impressed how much you have matured and seems as a wiser you are. But for a man that's watching right now, he would take that as you still sleep with your baby daddy. All right. So what would be your response to that? Um, I mean, I don't have to, like, <laughs> I would be willing to cut them off. Like, <laughs> I don't have to sleep with them. This I is just, foul. Kind of just comfortable. Like, up, up here is horrible. Men are horrible where I'm from. Like, it ain't no good men, so. What? What? <sighs> what? Well, let me say this. Um, I think, and I think this goes on the board for both because I hear men say this about women and obviously just said it about men. I think what we have to start being honest with is, are we attracting the person that we consider to be good, right? Yes, so no. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if I'm gonna say there's no good men. And I know for sure the saying is not true where there's no good women. I know so many great women, right? And I've seen both on the show, good and bad. I think what we have to start realizing is our true assessment and what we bring and if what we consider to be good, are they willing to sign up for it? Because, mm -hmm. you know, like a man. You know, i tell you what, you know why they can't be, they can hunch, but it's too much fighting up in that house, y'all. Y'all already know. No, don't touch my shit. Don't, see, see, this, this is how it always happens. This is, this is how it always happens. I got money, bitch. I got motherfucking money, nigga. I got motherfucking. It's time. <laughs> bedroom, it get real toxic outside the bedroom, folks. So, man, you know, I couldn't imagine. Listen, I'm gonna keep saying it. We gotta throw messages in with this madness. It men, any men on any level, if your lady, girlfriend, baby mama, wife talking to you crazy it's over for you all right you have lost that battle <laughs> great like that shout out to my guy joker nutty nate yeah blah 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 a <laughs> lot of that going on brother all right do let her land this plane we gotta got move on nerve this she talking about dudes where she at ain't ish and you and you what four for three and your baby daddy just just glazed cheeks raw weeks ago and they ain't nothing. And you funky. All right. All that. And to hear you, because I mean, listen, I, I mean, life happens, right? And I think we have to have more grace in that area of life happening. But the fact that you still see what your fa your child's father shows that, okay, there's still some things you have to work on. Because I understand, I understand that you're saying you don't have a lot of choices. And it's your baby daddy. And I understand this is not just for women who's with their baby daddies. A lot of women have the notion of, I don't want to increase my body count. So I don't like him, but I'm still going to sleep with him because it's better to sleep with a guy I once slept with 
than a new guy. And that's the, I get the logic of that. But this is what men have said. You know, if you want to be a wife, and men, if you want to be a husband, maybe you can listen too. You have to act as such, right? Yeah. And um, if these men are not, not options to be your husband and that's what you're seeking, then figure out a way to stop having sex with them. So you can really know that he's not even a sexual option. I know it's going to be difficult because every woman has knees, right? And you have a young child together. But if you want to meet somebody new, that's something that only you can make the decision for. And let me say this too. I, the road ain't easy, okay? Like, let's, I, and like, when you start saying, okay, I'm going to be very, very um, cautious of who I lay down with, you're really going to start to see, okay, who can you build a life with? Because I'm not saying tomorrow you're going to meet the perfect man and now you have sex. It might be months. It really might. It might be months before you meet a man that you can align yourself with, which means you may have to go without sex for a minute until that man shows up. Now, if you know yourself and you know you can't, that's on you, right? I can't, I can't say nothing to that. I can't say anything to that. But you also then have to own up to the fact that my sex drive was more important or I didn't have enough discipline to control that until I met the right man. Therefore, this is what I am dealing with. That's, yeah. that's a more accurate assessment than there's no good men. Or, or as we say around here, Kendra. Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice and now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. I hate, that's more <laughs> accurate right there. <laughs> Shout out, shout out to the uh, kingless queen. Yeah, she done had so much that going nug nug juice all up and through her. She don't know which way is up. Nug nug still coming over. Y'all know it, it's funky in that room. It's just funky. It's all bad. The sub awaits her arrival. Got nothing else for this woman. The pot. <laughs> oh. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favourite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time and wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Amen. Yeah. Over, uh, Nook, Quisha. Huh. 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 Rare in rare form. What was she, 29? You know, uh, she was churdy. Already done four kids. Three baby daddies. Nug, the last Nug Nug already the nestled in. He... He bouncing back and forth all willy nilly. He know when she. He know when she in heat. He like I. He said I know. I, I I'm going over to glaze cheeks, at least six times a month. 